all the material which I'm going to discuss in the RAN part, um, uh, the source is telcocloudbridge.com by Faisal Khan. So this is a very interesting and informative uh, uh, blog space. Uh, they have very good articles on telco cloud topics. You can go and visit here. So if, if I talk about RAN types, so this is my distributed RAN also called as DRAN or traditional RAN for that purpose. Okay. So in this RAN, what do we have? We have the RRU and the BBU co-located at every cell site. So the RRU is basically um, our radio units like the TRX, TREs or RRHs. Okay. Uh, the radiation, radiation equipment basically. And the BBU is the baseband unit. So this is uh, this RRU is the hardware and BBU is uh, the is the software. Okay, and the card which controls the whole cell site, whether it is node B or BTS or E node B, G node B, anything. So BBU is something which is uh, which is a software part, and RRU is the hardware part. Okay, and you have antennas here. So in case of a traditional RAN, you have RRUs and BBUs, and both RRU and BBU are co-located at every cell site, and the BBU further connects to the core node via a backhaul interface. The interface between RRU and BBU is called as CPRI or CIPRI in, in common terms. Then came, okay, so before going forward, so this case, this is a complete vendor lock-in. So you have to buy the RRU and the BBU from the same vendor. Why? Because the interfaces are closed and the interfaces are proprietary. They are not open. Okay. Then came something which is called as centralized RAN or cloud RAN or CRAN. Okay. This is the option one for CRAN. So what we have achieved here, the BBU moves to a central location now. So if you see here, every cell site has still has RRU because RRU is pure hardware. But the BBU, which was the software part uh, or, or a control card maybe uh, in, the, in the cabinet, has now moved to a central location. And now we have placed a, a pool of BBUs at one central location and connected this RRU from that BBU pool. So there is an introduction of a new interface which is called as front hall now uh, between the RRU and the BBU. This is the only change that has happened from DRAN to CRAN. So the cell, cell site uh, now only has the antenna and the RRU. Okay. And but still this is vendor lock-in. Okay. So you still have to buy the RRU and the BBU from the same vendor. Why? Because your interfaces are still closed. They are not open. However, we have achieved a little capex saving for the BBUs. So might be uh, some less amount of BBUs are required to manage same number of RRUs because we have pooled the BBUs here. So, so the capacity can be utilized a little better. So a little as, as I, I, I would say a little capex saving for the BBUs, nothing else. We have another option for the CRAN and that is called as CRAN with BBU split or option two. Here what has been done is the BBU has been split into two parts, the DU and the CU. So DU is the distribution unit and CU is the career unit. And there is an introduction of another interface which is called as mid hall between the DU and the CU. So the whole software processing by the BBUs is actually divided into two parts. Uh, the, uh, the DU is uh, ma maintains the functions which are close to RRU and the CU maintains the functions which are close to the core network like that. So this was a shift from DRAN to CRAN. But the main thing to remember here is the word cloud which is being used in the CRAN should not be used actually. Actually, I don't know why they have used the word cloud ran here because there is nothing related to cloud here. There is nothing which has been cloudified or virtualized. Okay. So do not get confused that this cloud ran is something related to the cloud, which I'm going to teach in the next slides. No, uh, this, this was, this, this was a fake term, I would say. Okay. So call it simply centralized ran or C ran. Okay. People may call it cloud run, but you don't call it cloud run. Okay. There is nothing related to cloud here. Moving forward on the same path. Now there is something interesting. So this diagram, which you see is actually VRAN or virtual RAN. So what is the difference here is, uh, 
this is the architecture remains same just like your uh, central ran c ran uh, with option 1 and option 2 but v ran decouples the software from the hardware so now you have if if you are using option 1 then the bbu is now virtual based on x86 servers so x86 servers is nothing but the cots hardware so the, this this bbu is now a virtual bbu in the form of VM or container, okay, and these DU and CU are also virtual, okay. So earlier we used to have proprietary hardware for the BBU, DU, and CU. So proprietary hardware by let's say Nokia or Ericsson or any other radio vendor, okay. Uh, here now in VRAN you don't require proprietary hardware by the telco vendor. The hardware has been separated from the software. So you can use normal purpose servers, COT servers here. Okay. So now your CU, DU and BBU are actually virtual. Either in the form of VMs or containers deployed on COTS hardware as compared to proprietary hardware in CRAN. So this is the change from CRAN to VRAN. Okay. So hardware is now open but still vendor lock-in in terms of software. Why? Because the interfaces are still closed. So the CIPRI interface, the mid hall, the back hall, all these interfaces are actually not open. So RRU, CU and DU still has to be bought from the same vendor. Okay, so you still have a vendor lock-in. What you can do, I mean what you have achieved, only uh, some capex saving on the BBU hardware. So the proprietary hardware was costly, but the cost cost servers are cheap or commodity servers are cheap. So we achieved some saving in the form of BBU hardware. That's it. Okay. This is VRAN. The last uh, station or the last st step in this uh, evolution is Open RAN or O RAN. Okay. So in Open RAN, actually, it takes VRAN to the next level. What it does is it opens the interfaces between the RRU and the DU and the CU. Okay. So if you see uh, carefully, now the RU is called as ORU, the DU is called as ODU and the CU is called as OCU. So O stands for open. So every equipment is now open because this CPRI interface or this mid hall interface or this back hall interface which used to be closed interfaces earlier uh, proprietary protocols proprietary uh, uh, software uh, by the by the uh, by the vendors are now open so they have been standardized by the ORAN alliance okay so now your interfaces are open so we have no vendor lock in now Okay, this means that customer can mix and match the RRU, the CU and DU from different vendors. So uh, with ORAN, I can buy RRU from let's say Huawei, DU from Ericsson and CU from Nokia or some other players like Parallel Wireless, LTO Star, Mavenir, uh, which uh, have come uh, very aggressively in the, in the open RAN space. So this is the main advantage which has uh, uh, which open open ran or ORAN has uh, has brought to us. So this is a modular base station software stack on COTS hardware. Okay, and uh, the capex saving is due to no vendor lock-in. Remember, so wh why why we have achieved some saving here? Because there is no vendor lock-in now. So whichever is cheap, the operator will buy it. So let's say if the operator finds the RU uh, of one vendor cheap and uh, the DUs of some other vendor at a low cost and see you from some other vendor it can combine all three and run the radio uh, of in, the, in their network however uh, the system maintenance is complex in such case so because uh, a different um, uh, different vendors different accountabilities different softwares uh, so initially we will have interoperability issues also and the overall system maintenance will be complex. So this is the evolution of RAN, if we see. So it was started from DRAN uh, since, uh, since the time of 2G and 3G and uh, moved on to CRAN, centralized RAN, then VRAN and LTE and open RAN in uh, going forward in 5G. 
so we have to be very clear what is DRAN, CRAN, VRAN and ORAN okay and uh, the source of this information was telcocloudbridge.com by Faisal Khan and remember that uh, the cloudification or the virtualization starts from the later two uh, stages that is the VRAN or the ORAN because in DRAN and CRAN there was nothing virtualized the virtualization started from here so VRAN uh, is centralized and virtual and ORAN is centralized virtual and open